I believe that many of the time you may think that you are having a dream. You may be thinking that you are imagining things, but in truth, you are having a supernatural experience. Last night, I was speaking to this particular person, and this person, I believe this person asked me if I had a supernatural experience or something like that, or about hell. And something came to my mind, like from when I was maybe 12 or 8, all the way, I say almost for my whole life, when I would be really bad and really mean. You see, we all know right from wrong. We just choose to do wrong. So around that time period when I was doing wrong, I would have, well, I would think that they were dreams, but they were supernatural experiences. So I would have it to the where I would dream about being in this dark room. And that would happen many times, like, I would dream about being in a very dark room, could not see anything, but I knew that I was in this dark place. And at the time, I did not know where I was at. And I believe that dark room is a part of hell. Okay, this one time, and there were other dreams where I saw fire and stuff like that. And I knew that I was in hell. This one time, back when I was 21. Yes. Around that time period, I was really mean. I would lie so much. I was acting just horrible. I was just, I was just being really evil. Give me a second, please. You know, I would just lie, 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 and just a horrible person. You know, I can say that, well, perhaps I was that bad because I got hurt back in the past and stuff like that. So I can blame people and say, hey, I was mean and whatever else because of what people did to me. I could say that, but I would be wrong. And many people use that as an excuse for being the way that they are now. Even if people treated you wrong back in the past, you have no reason to treat people wrong now. I know that you don't want to get hurt again, so you act a certain way to push people away, blah, blah, blah. You are wrong. Anyways, around that time period, I was acting really, really off the handle, if you know what I mean. So to make a long story short, I went to sleep and I was in this place. As far to my left, as far to my right, everywhere, as far as I can see, I saw very tall flames or flames everywhere. Everywhere. And let me say this, God did not allow me to feel any pain. He did not allow me to, yeah, I was not allowed to feel any pain. And I did not feel any type of heat, but God allowed me to feel some of the terror let me say this. Some people say that they don't care about going to hell. Whatever. Some people may say that they are going to party and have fun and talk to their friends and blah, blah, blah. 
I was not allowed to feel the pain. I was not allowed to feel the heat, but I felt some of the terror. Imagine if I felt all the pain, all the heat, and all of the terror. Even with that little amount of terror that I felt, when I was in that place, and some people may say, well, Kevin, you was dreaming. No, it was not a dream. That place is as real as, as my phone right here. Like, when you go to a place like that, you know for a fact that what you saw is so real and you can say that I am crazy and all this stuff here it is your choice really and I was only allowed to feel some of the terror there and I was screaming I was like ah like to the top of my lungs I did not feel any pain I did not feel any heat but I was screaming very loudly anyways. Imagine if I felt all of it. Even if you felt the terror alone, that is bad enough. There may be some witches out there or you may hate God or you may be atheist, blah, blah, blah. And you can say that you don't care where God sends you and stuff like that. I'm telling you, you don't want to go to hell. And I knew exactly why I was there. I could not say that I did not understand why I was there. I could not say that. Flames everywhere. I never saw anything like that. Like from the top, from the ground, from the left and right, all you can see is fire, like a supernatural fire. And I was thinking to myself, what in the world is going on? But at the same time, I knew exactly where I was at. And I could not think of anything but to scream. I did not think about, please God help me. Like I was so terrified that all I could do is scream. So you may think that when you go to hell or if you are planning to go to hell, you may think that you are going to have a party and, and have sex with girls or dudes and stuff like that. You are not. You are not. All you are going to have is your pain and screams. I never saw, you know, as I was saying to you before, I had other hell experiences, but this was the far worse, by far. It was the worst hell dream or supernatural experience that I ever had. It was no dream. Like I said before, we believe that many things that we have are dreams, but they are not. Let me say this too. If you think that I don't know what I am talking about, what you should do is pray a lot more often read your Bible a lot more often, seek God a lot more often, then he is going to reveal to you perhaps a lot more than what he is showing me. You don't want to go to hell. In this suicide, silly stuff, you don't want to do that because if you kill yourself, thou should not kill, you are murdering you are murdering your own self. So how do you believe that you are going to happen? You may say that life on earth is hell by itself. Let's say that you are right. But if you kill yourself from this hell, as you say, the hell that you are going to is going to be worse. Give me a second, please. The hell that you are going to is going to be a lot worse. 
So get this silly notion out of your head that you are going to have fun in hell. No. That place is horrible. And I am sure that other people have went there and seen other things. I just saw fire everywhere. Everywhere. That is some freaky stuff right there, man. You know that you are in a place where there is fire everywhere. And like, your mind can't really comprehend things like that. Like, something that... <laughs> some very wild stuff. So what you should do is repent of your sins now. All you have to say is, God, please forgive me of all my sins. From there, read your Bible, pray, fast. Don't eat or drink anything for a certain time period. The average amount of days that people fast from for is about three days. So fast for one day to three days. Does that make any sense? And fasting is going to help you or help kill the desire to sin. And there are so much more things that you have to do as well. And if you need any help, I am here for you. So, like I said, you don't want to go to hell. Now, I don't know if I should talk about that, but hell is real. Let's say that if you serve God, many people may say that, hey, I don't want to serve God because I am going to have a boring life. Like you can't really do much when you are serving God or when you repent of your sins and stuff like that. Let's say that you are right, but that is wrong. Let's say that you are right. I'd rather have a meaningless, boring life on earth and go to heaven than to have so much sinful fun than go to hell. Even if I have to live under a rock for the rest of my life, I will do that in order to go to heaven than to go out and have sex before marriage and drink, I mean, and get drunk and get high and pop some pills and do all of this. I'm not going to say fun because it is not fun. Crazy. That is not fun. Let me say this. Now, I say like months ago or a year ago, you know, when I gave my life to God, I believe that, let's say that last year, I used to think that around that time, you know, I was still serving God, but I was thinking about my past or some thoughts about my past would come to my mind. You know, uh, I would think about the good times and all of that stuff there. So. I started to pray more and get more close to God, you know, through the years and stuff. And I started to receive more information about my past. What I thought was fun, it was fun because I did not have the information about what exactly that I was doing, like what was going on. I still don't know everything what happened, but I know more things about what I was doing. And the main thing that I would do was have sex before marriage. And I thought that was like the great thing, you know, because it is really advertised heavily that you have to have sex before marriage. If you don't have sex before marriage, you are like weird or you are not a man and stuff like that. So I wanted I wanted to be a man, you know, so I started to do that stuff and I wanted to brag to other guys and all that foolishness and stuff like that. So 
I started to learn about what that stuff was doing to me. And now that I am closer to God, I see every so often, I see demons with my actual eyes. Every so often. And almost every night, like I said before, you may think that you're having dreams, but they are not dreams. I have evil supernatural experiences where I am being chased or like someone is trying to kill me and all this crazy stuff like that and sexual dreams like attacks like boom, boom, boom. And you may say, well, what you should do is pray about it. And my answer to that, yes, <laughs> I have been. <laughs> I have been. That is the first thing I was doing, you know. <laughs> But when you are helping people change their lives and giving out information about the Bible to people and helping them to change their lives, so you are fighting against the kingdom of hell. When you fight against the kingdom of hell, don't you think that they are going to fight back? Of course. So to get back to my subject, you don't want to go to hell because I'm telling you, when you get close to God, your understanding is going to increase. And I am not saying that my understanding is maxed out, meaning that I know everything. I don't. There are many people that know more than I, by far. But what I am saying, the closer you, the closer you get to God, the more that he is going to open your understanding. So the things that you may think that is fun, it actually is hurting you so much. It is that sin just twist your mind. Like your mind is not in the right place yet. So God still has to work on your mind. And you are going to think that bad is good and good is boring until you start seeking out God more by following his rules and repenting, praying, fasting, so on and so on. I really hope that makes sense because I thought that I had so much fun in my sinful life, but all the stuff that I did that was not of God, I find out that it was not fun. I was destroying myself because I was the most depressed, sad, angry, so many bad emotions all at one time. And I still thought that I still had fun at that time. No, that was not a fun time for me. I was miserable. So I really hope or pray that this helps you. So give your life to God now. Hell is not fun. You are never going to have fun in hell. If hell is so fun, why aren't all the demons in hell now? Give me a second, please. If hell is so fun, why aren't all the demons in hell now? Because it is not fun. It is more fun on this earth to trick humans and make them to sin than throw them to hell after death. You have to think about it. Witches and atheists and all these people that may believe hell is fun. You are being fooled because hell is not fun. Why are they messing with you if hell is so fun? Why are they getting you to do evil things to, to your fellow humans if hell is so fun? You have to know whatever you do to people, it is going to come back to you. So you may complain that your life is so bad and everything like that. But look at what you are doing to other people. Yes, like I said, yes, you may have been hurt, so on and so on, but... 
that does not give you a ticket to do other people wrong because more bad things are going to come your way, which it has already came. But you are just increasing the curses upon yourself. Does that make any sense? Like I said, if you need any more help or understanding, I can help you out. Do I have all the answers? Of course not. Who really does? If anyone says that they have all the answers besides God, they are lying to you. So, I pray that this helps you. Stay close to God. You don't want to go to hell, so stop saying that you don't care about going to hell because that is foolish. I remember when I was younger, I would say that crazy stuff like, yes, I know that I am going to hell. Crazy. But when God gives you supernatural, when God gives you supernatural experiences of hell, <laughs> you will never say that again. Never, ever, ever, ever. Especially when you start to see demons and stuff like that. No. Okay. God bless.